If you want to know what to expect as a YouTuber, you know, what's normal, what's not normal when you're running a YouTube channel, you're going to want to watch this entire video, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. I get a lot of repetitive comments on my channel from viewers asking, hey, is this normal? Is this normal? My channel's doing this. Is this normal? We're going to get to the bottom of it. And real quick, let me know any type of expectations that you have had here on YouTube that have or have not worked out in your favor. I'm guessing it's probably going to be something about growth, but let me know in the comments. The first item on the list is that it is normal to lose subscribers. Yeah, it's so normal that you should expect as your channel grows that when you upload a new video, there's a really good chance that you're gonna lose subscribers with every single video that you upload. It's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. There's a lot of reasons that people unsubscribe to channels. Maybe you're not making the same content that they originally signed up for. It's also possible that their interests have changed and they just decided to watch other people on YouTube instead of you. There are also YouTube purges where they delete spam accounts and other accounts that are not playing by the rules. I know it sucks, but that's part of doing this. You are going to lose subscribers, it's perfectly normal. Another thing to expect is you are going to have ups and downs on YouTube. You're gonna have peaks and you're gonna have valleys and then you're gonna have some steady parts and then you're gonna have drop-offs and more peaks and it's crazy. It's perfectly normal for things to go up and down, but when you do have a big adjustment one way or the other, try to figure out why, because there can be triggers, there can be specific things that happen that actually cause your channel to go up or down. So just try to really get into your analytics, study your analytics and try to figure out what caused the change so that you can try to figure out how to basically get everything back on track. Another thing to expect is just because a video isn't doing good right after you publish it does not mean that it's not going to do good in the future. On my channel, on other channels that I work with, it's extremely common for a video to come out and it doesn't do that well. And then, you know, three months down the road, six months down the road, it starts picking up traction after it's gained more watch time. You're gonna get haters. And if you're not, then you might wanna step it up a notch because if you're getting haters, you're getting people saying bad things to you, that means that you're on the radar. And if you're not on the radar, then that means you need to start making some changes so that you can get on the radar. But seriously, it's not you. Haters and trolls are all over the internet. YouTube is no exception. They actually come out and force on YouTube because they can watch a video and there's a lot of little details that they can pick apart in a YouTube video that they can't just troll on if it was just a comment or something like that. So as someone that's putting yourself out there and you're making content, you're putting your face in the video or whatever, people will come in, they will troll you, they will hate on you. It's not a big deal, perfectly normal. Don't take it personally. Just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be fine. On that note, you're also going to get constructive criticism. So when a comment comes in, just because you don't like it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a hate comment. You know, there might be something that somebody says where you're like, you know what, I never really even thought about it that way, but they're right. And that can help you make improvements to your content to better serve your audience. But always remember, you don't want to cater everything. If you have your plan and your way of doing things, you know, stick to that. On the flip side, just make sure that your mind is open to constructive criticism when it comes in. The next one is how long does it take for a YouTube channel to take off. Here's the facts. It may take you 20 videos, it might take you 200 videos, it might take you a thousand videos for your channel to really start taking off. I mean, of course there's things that you can do and if you're making the right content for your audience and things like that, then of course you have a better chance of things going the way that you want them to go. However, your expectations on how fast everything should be going, that expectation itself will cause a lot of frustration. It's really important that you learn to enjoy the journey, that you enjoy learning how to make the content, how to make your content better. And when you do that, that is going to open you up for the success that you're after. Another thing that you can expect, just like everywhere else on the internet, is YouTube is in a constant state of change. Sometimes it's an algorithm update, sometimes they're adding or removing a feature, and sometimes it's just because people are dumping content into YouTube like crazy, and you know, it might cause you to lose rankings, it might cause you to gain rankings because you know, you're getting more people watching your videos and things like that, but expect constant change. Another thing to expect is some videos are going to do better than other videos. Some videos are gonna take off, other videos are gonna tank, some videos are just gonna do kinda, you know, kinda eh. Don't stress out about it, it's not a huge deal. Even though, you know, past history and all that stuff does come into play, it's not a humongous deal, so just hang in there. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by clicking the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.